Hey guys, Scanner Danner here again with my son Caleb. We are on my way, our way, to my brother's shop. You want to start that again? Yeah, I didn't like that anyway. Hey guys, Scanner Danner here with my son Caleb behind the camera as usual. We are on my way, our way, to my brother's shop. I don't know why I said that <laughs> twice. I said that twice. <laughs> we are on my way. <laughs> Stupid. Hey guys, Scanner Danner here with my son Caleb Danner behind the camera. We are on our way to my brother's shop. <laughs> Damn it. Hey guys, Scanner Danner here with my son Caleb behind the camera. As usual, we're on our way to my brother's shop to get an update on the Hummer. Unfortunately, we were not available when the Hummer came back to my brother's shop uh, doing its thing and my brother was able to find the problem. He is cooler than we are. So uh, what we're doing right now, the Hummer's still at the shop. Uh, it is fixed, but we're gonna rehash what he found and what he did to fix it. And um, just we're happy to have at least this opportunity to do that, even though we weren't able to show it to you guys live. So let's go talk to Danner and uh, see what he found. All right, so we're waiting on my brother to come out and give us a heads up on on the direction he took and, and where he found this. Uh, but I can give you a, a quick overview. Uh, number one is it did have five volt reference codes that we had mentioned early in the first part, but were not able to duplicate. We, that was just uh, secondhand information from the customer. And we were unsure that it was setting five volt ref code. So Danner has a code list that he's gonna talk about, but he did have direction was not able to duplicate it driving it, but he started doing visual inspections on the five volt reference circuit and where everything went. And here's the area um, where the repair was done. In fact, you can see, see the repair that was done. That's where the harness was shorted. And if you look at my picture here on my phone, uh, you can see where that uh, brown with a white wire uh, was touching you see the black wire next to it too. There's some copper showing them both of those. Uh, but that brown and white is the five volt ref two circuit, I believe. Yeah, brown, white, it's, it goes to the air pump. So the uh, sensor for the air diverter valve. So this air diverter valve is where that goes. The brown, white wire um, goes to the pressure sensor that's in here and that's where it was shorted. And even though the diagram, if you look on the uh, Mitchell diagram here, each one of these shows a separate ref. I have them highlighted. It says air plus five volt ref, TP2 plus five volt ref, map plus five volt ref, TP1 plus five volt. So all of those, even though they look separate, the diagram shows all separate five volt reference circuits. They're not, there's two. There's a five volt ref one and five volt ref two. Don't be confused by that. When you see on diagrams like that, where all of the reference circuits go to the computer and they look like they're all separate. They're not, they're internally tied. And that's why the one wire that goes to this air pump diverter and pressure sensor can take down the whole REF2 circuit. I believe it was REF2 that did that. So we'll, we'll get Danner to... All right, we're ready for you. All right, um, Danner's grabbing the code list that he had, the history, and... See, I thought you were going to in yours. Well, is it still in there? I never cleared it. Oh, you didn't even clear them? No. Okay. Um, we're just pulling the codes up and we're gonna recreate this fault. He's just gonna short this brown white wire out. All right, so the codes that I have is EVAP system, vent control circuit, of course, we know that. The pressure sensor, EVAP pressure sensor signal low, AC pressure sensor circuit low. TP12 correlation, APP sensor 12 correlation, 5 volt ref 1 circuit. So yeah. it is the 5 volt ref 1. I said 2. Man, these codes would have been key and we didn't you know, you'd mentioned it to us, but yeah, we didn't but they, we they, didn't know. We couldn't get it to act up. So what do you do? Like you said, you don't want to start yanking on stuff, you know. You know, here we're in the dash yeah. looking at water and yeah. freaking a connector and yeah. and for no com issues and a APP uh, sensor fault and here if we would have had these I would have done I would have done the same well, thing yeah, man if you go to the wiring diagram visual inspection you know you go to the wiring diagram you'll see that the air conditioning pressure yep the accelerator pedal position sensor two and the TP throttle position sensor one are all on are all on, on the 5 volt one circuit it didn't say anything about the secondary air when I went to the other code <clears throat> To just to look up what a five volt reference two circuit would be 
it didn't show the secondary air either, but I knew it was a five volt circuit. And I remember you had been talking on a different video where there was probably two different five volt circuits. Mm -hmm. And even though they're different wires coming out of the computer, they're the same on the inside. Yep. So at that point, if you want to get real picky, what I saw originally was right under here. You can see these oxygen sensor wires are smashed and it was sitting underneath this thing coming out right here, yeah. not through where it should have been. Okay, gotcha. And I saw that and I'm like, oh, I bet it, I wonder if it's right in here. You know what I mean? Because I knew that the secondary air diverter slash pressure sensor was right here. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I saw that that was the O2 wires that were crushed, you know, so I went further and then I start looking down here. And then I, if you look right here, I just cut those two wires and heat shrunk and fixed the two that were. Where was clean. that rubbing? So I'm well, looking at see, the picture right this, here. See this V right here? Just because you're not going to see it on the other side. See that little tab that support beam? Oh, yeah. There's one right here in between these two. It coils. was rubbing on that. It was rubbing on that. This loom was not here, so it was all bare wire. So that's why this is all nice and perfect looking like yep. half moon. It was yep. rubbing yep. on that V on this side. Yep. The, so this is a new harness that you put on the conduits new. Yeah. This was all destroyed. And honestly, the key was the codes we were chasing. And this is key for us too. As I watched the video yesterday, final production, we were, we were barking up the wrong tree the whole time. Uh, we had an APP2 code, correlation code, I think was the only one we had. And then we had uh, no com U codes. Crazy stuff, man, crazy stuff. So what you wanna- um, Well, I'm just wanna- Did you wanna short, so, so clear, you cleared clear, all these? Just clear the codes. Okay. Because I wanted to see if they were all related, you know, because you had some correlation codes, you know what I mean? Yes. And I wanted to see if the secondary air came back because there was three. Well, the difference though for us is uh, when I did the code scan, I was doing all of them. Let me do a full code scan real quick okay. because I had U codes. We were chasing U codes. That was just not what we should have been chasing. Yeah, there aren't any right now. Totally different, Tanner. Really kind of upsetting that we didn't have have this I mean, code that's list what stinks when people have like generic scan pools and they you know but when they realize hey i can clear this code and then my throttle comes back you know what i mean they're gonna do it and then they bring it to you they clear the code so they could drive it and then you're like oh you know and i drive it around and that was clutch you man drove it yeah i drove it we switched some relays around because of the corrosion he took it it worked for a couple days and then after that you know he called and then it took him a week or so to get it back and i'm when he got here i'm like did you clear the codes he's like i did not i'm like thank you yeah <laughs> you no know? doubt so yeah that's what i wanted you know so when i saw that five volt circuit i know i didn't want to start pulling on stuff but when i saw that wire smash it made me just look in that area and yep. i saw all the wires were were uh, yep fair not fair but there wasn't a loom and they were just loose in there and then when i flipped this harness over i saw those two wires that had rubbed through so yeah, this so. this last thing that Danner wants to show us and shorten this uh, brown and white wire that was shorted was just making sure that they were all related. The codes that he yeah. saw, the TP1. The time, I never had it act up right, on me. Still right. has not acted up on me. And I, when I hand it back to him, I don't want to know that I had other codes. You know what I mean? Especially because he had throttle position correlation codes and someone put the throttle body on and the wiring harness. I yes. Mean, you know, remember you saw that one that the guy did that weren't crimped right. Oh yeah. And then you start getting glitches and I wanted to see that those all codes same. Yeah, for came sure. Back, and I didn't have another issue where someone was in there and that I have, maybe have to fix that too. I, you know what I mean? Yep. So I hate when cars leave and have to come back, even though you can understand the scenario, you know, you can only go so far, you know, and if it, if I can't break it, I can't. No, I know. And, and, driving your car, and we would have never, really without those codes, we would have never had the right direction. Yeah. We would have never known. Yeah. I was just going to pull up five volt ref one yeah, and two. To see, that's what I did too. There's ref one and then ref two, that min max voltage we had talked about previously kind of weird the way that that's showing right now the lower 3.98 but ignore that that's not an issue so it's just because i'm dealing i think that's the right brown white wire yes I wanted to make sure yes i have five volts on it um i'm seeing it live i just wanted to make sure oh gotcha short and 12 volts okay i gotta find a damn so you're wire. he's just so gonna momentarily ground it I, as i yep. just touched it to ground and you'll see it go to zero yep right yep I'll take it off and I'll go back and look at your code. Yep, it went back to five too. So it recovered 
looking at this scan data where he grounded it and he just went right to the battery. I know you couldn't see the post, Caleb, but uh, all he did was ground that wire yeah, right, right to the it, post. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've been doing it for it's a, a year. Right? Exactly. No, it's a protected circuit. We've yeah. learned that about 5 volt ref circuits. Uh, let's go back and show you guys the codes now. I'm just doing the engine codes. I, if I held it long enough, you know what I mean? But you did. AC pressure sensor circuit low, TP12 correlation, APP12 correlation, 5 volt reference one circuit. Man, if I had that 5 volt reference one code, this would not have been a comeback. It wouldn't have been. I would have done the same thing. Back. Anyway, I didn't charge him anything the first time. I said, we've seen this before. We had that relay that was powering the ECM that was dropping out and causing communication. So we switched it with the AC one. You know what I mean? Just to see if that would happen because like you drove it, I drove it, I was done driving it. Yeah, I know. Like, Dude, take your car. I know. It's up again, I'm on board, bring it right back. And codes were key and the there. customer cleared the codes. All right, before you go away, um, well, that wraps this one up. So first of all, thank you guys for joining us. Special thanks to Danner for handling this comeback for us. It was really a comeback for me and Caleb. Um, he just wants to dramatize it, dramatize it. it wasn't. We just were like, no, we got too much stuff to do, right? That's okay. Danner's <laughs> yeah. the man. Special thanks to him comebacks. for you for know, making I mean, this you don't happen. Even make anything when you come here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I gotta deal with your comeback. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you learned something from this one. Look in that area on this engine for that ref two or ref ref one circuit for short now. Shaking my head still on that. See you next time.